Hello, in this short video we are going to understand what exactly is certificate pinning and uh, before we go into the details we have to understand some key concepts let's start from there first thing is man in the middle attack so man in the middle attack is where there is an intruder who comes in between two communicating parties and is able to eavesdrop to the communication which is happening and can also alter the packets so essentially what it means is that there are two people alice and bob they want to communicate with each other and on the network line where they are speaking with each other there is an intruder it can be a router a switch a network uh, proxy some kind of device so it is able to intercept the packets and it is able to alter the packets and that is what is man in the middle uh, attack so let's read it here in cryptography and computer security MITM attack or on path attack is a cyber attack where the attacker secretly relays and possibly alters the communication between two parties who believe they are directly communicating with each other so this party and this party they are not aware that somebody else is sniffing their packets and possibly altering them so they believe that they are directly communicating with each other as the attacker has inserted themselves between the two parties the second thing to understand is the public key cryptography also known as asymmetric cryptography so in uh, public key cryptography we have a key pair public key and private key and these are mathematically related numbers and if you encrypt something by a public key you can decrypt it using the private key and vice versa if you encrypt using private key with the corresponding public key you are able to decrypt the message a message which is encrypted with the public key can be decrypted using the corresponding private key and vice versa so the same thing being represented here bob wants to communicate to alice what he does is he has a message what he does is he encrypts the message with alice's public key now once the message has been encrypted it's like a gibberish to anybody who is able to get hands on this message and this message can only be decrypted by alice because her private key is with her only and she is able to decrypt it with the private key so this is what is public key encryption now the same thing being represented here if alice has to send a message to bob what she will do is she will get bob's public key and with the bob's public key what she is going to do she is going to encrypt the message send the message to bob and bob would be able to decrypt using the private key which is private to him that private key is called private key because it is available with only the owner it is not distributed publicly so bob is able to decrypt the message and thereby they are able to securely talk to each other now let's see what happens in case there is a man in the middle attack so here we are seeing that there is mallory which has come between alice and bob Alice sends uh, a message to Bob asking Bob to give his public key. This message is intercepted by Mallory and what he does is instead of sending the public key of Bob what he does is he sends his public key to Alice. Now Alice would think that she is interacting with Bob and she is in possession with Bob's key and she is going to send the message to mallory in the same network she will send the message thinking that it is being sent to bob but it is being intercepted by mallory and the message is encrypted also using mallory's public key so mallory would be able to decrypt this message create a new message using the bob's public key and that message would be he would be able to relate to bob so thereby what has happened is mallory was able to intervene the communication and able to give to alice the impression that alice is talking to bob and able to send a new message to bob which was not sent by alice so let's see this whole flow with this sequence of steps which is indicated here alice sends a message to bob which is intercepted by mallory alice hi bob it's alice give me your key then the message is going to mallory and then to bob mallory is the interceptor mallory relays the message to bob bob cannot tell it is coming from uh, alice or it is coming from mallory so what uh, mallory does he says hi bob it's alice give me your key so same message he has relayed to bob now bob responds as his key here alice receives mallory's key because mallory sends his key instead of sending the bob's key now alice sends a message encrypted with mallory's key 
Mallory has this message now and Mallory what he does is instead of sending this message meet me at the bus stop he sends meet me at the van down the river okay encrypted with Bob's key to Bob okay Bob thinks that this message is a secure communication with Alice thereby what has been done here is that Mallory has intercepted and changed the message and Alice and Bob are unaware that they have been tricked here. Now how can we preempt this whole problem? We can preempt this problem if at the Alice's side we have the public key of Bob already handy. So Alice has a list of public keys which it trusts. So it does not have to ask to Bob that give me your key. Instead what Alice has done is she has pinned the list of public keys which is trust. So what she will do is she will when she communicates to Bob and Bob responds the public key she will check with her pins list of certificates or pinned list of public key if this key which was returned by Bob matches what is there in the list. So if there is a direct communication definitely the proper key will come and that will be a correct match. But once Mallory has intercepted and sent his key back to Alice. Alice will see that this key is not in the list of pinned keys and thereby there will be a mismatch and this communication will not be allowed and this communication will be allowed. That is what is certificate pinning. Now let's read this. Certificate pinning is a security mechanism used to ensure that a client like a web browser or a mobile app communicates only with a server that has a specific digital certificate or public key. And how it works? Let's read this as well. Normally when a client connects to a server over HTTPS, it checks the server's digital certificate to verify server's identity and establish a secure connection. Okay, this is a normal process and this is what you will see in your browser also when you go to a HTTPS page. The, cer the certificate which comes is checked against the list of root certificates installed on the browser or on the system and if it is there the communication is st established. Additionally in certificate pinning what is done with certificate pinning the client embeds its in its code or configuration a specific digital certificate or public key which it expects to see from the server. So if this is what is in its code or configuration this public key then only the connection would be establishes. When the client connects to server it not only checks the server's certificate against list of trusted authorities okay list of trusted uh, root certificates but also it compares against the pinned certificate or public key and that's what would grant uh, the 100% uh, trust because we have already pinned the certificate which we 100% trust and thereby the communication would be established against the pin certificates only. If the server certificate matches the pin certificate or a public key the connection proceeds as normal. However, if it doesn't match the client rejects the connection which can prevent various attacks like man in the middle attack. Certificate pinning adds an extra layer of security by ensuring that the client only communicates with servers whose certificates or public keys have been explicitly trusted, reducing the risk of connecting to malicious or compromised servers. However, it requires careful management of certificates or public keys to avoid issues when certificates expire or need to be updated which means the pinned certificate which are kept in code or configuration should be checked and they should be carefully managed. Okay, thank you very much.